Hi, my name is uh, David Lockett. Uh, I, you're here at uh, the site of uh, the best in, best in concept model for the Great Bean Project, uh, which we hope will become uh, a national uh, project to deal with uh, hunger and food banks by providing uh, nutritious vegetables, in, in particular beans. I guess it's been eight months uh, since um, I wrote a blog called The Great Bean Project. It all started with uh, some smaller fences that we have on uh, our urban farm here at the John Polanyi High School, which is in Toronto. And uh, uh, it began with a cedar fence a year and a half ago that produced uh, 400 pounds of beans in a 40, 45 foot fence. And what we realized was the tremendous need for food and vegetables in this area. Right next to a food bank, just to my left, and you know, uh, every uh, every week, two or three times a week, there's a lineup of people waiting to get into the food bank. Uh, they're all hungry. They all need support. And there's not a lot of vegetables. And uh, being involved in the urban agriculture program here at John Plain, and we've got a 30,000 square foot garden. Uh, believe me, uh, growing vegetables is pretty difficult. But beans, on the other hand, are really, really easy to grow. They're tremendously nutritious. When we planted the beans uh, on the smaller fence in our site, we basically dug a eight to nine foot trench, uh, put a little bit of uh, soil supplements in and planted the beans and nature did the rest. Before you know it, they're popping out of the ground, they're vibrant, they're healthy, they're winding around the fence and up they go. And uh, we were producing for every linear foot of beans that were planted in six, inch, uh, uh, six inches apart, we were growing uh, between 10 and 11 pounds a linear foot. So I guess it was uh, that summer I had an epiphany having a coffee here, here early one morning and I looked at all of these chain link fences that you see around every school in the world. At John Polanyi here, uh, there's approximately 800 linear feet of chain link fence and not only is it not, it's a lot higher, it's, they come in 8 foot sections, 8 foot 12 sections as you can see here on my right. So that was the uh, evolution of the uh, Great Bean Project and what we wanted to do was uh, dig a trench out along the perimeter of the chain link fence as opposed to the small cedar fence on our uh, garden site and plant beans. We basically dug it out by hand last fall and we planted the beans about uh, three, four weeks ago and here we are uh, and they're doing well. Um, there's approximately 450 linear feet of beans planted here. Um, they seem to be coming out of the ground really well. They're healthy. Uh, actually, a, a group of kids from a primary school I planted them, so they had a lot of fun doing it. They planted them every six inches, and uh, they're now on the fence. And as you know, they uh, they wind up the fence, and we're hoping that they'll go all the way up the eight, eight foot section. And in fact, maybe we could grow up to 15 to 16 pounds a linear foot. So, on this 450 foot section. We're hoping to grow and pick and donate to the local food bank five to six thousand pounds of beans, which is really a phenomenal thing when you think about it. Um, based on the fact that you know we're all talking about hunger, we're all talking about the lack of vegetables in food banks, but here right in front of our noses, you know, is a thousand schools in Toronto between all the different boards, and pretty much all of them have these large chain link fences sitting around unused, going rusty. So not only will the the beans you know, provide a tremendous amount of highly nutritious vegetables to food banks, but uh, they will uh, beautify the schoolyard, they'll flower, they'll grow, and a lot better than a rusty chain link fence. Um, so uh, that's basically the story, and uh, this is a proof of concept. We're hoping that a national sponsor would come along. And one of the unique things about our garden program, we do have six gardens all in uh, priority neighborhoods and high-risk high schools. In each one of the gardens, uh, when they collect the vegetables on a weekly basis, they feed it into a Google database that gives us a total per garden, total per vegetable, total nutritional value, as well as a total for the all six gardens. So the idea is for $150, we can send a kit to a school, uh, and that school can plant the beans, and we'll include a soaker hose, which will make it really, really easy uh, to water. All you basically have to do is, uh, you know, line it along, put it underneath the dirt, plug a hose into it when uh, the soil needs some moisture, and uh, it doesn't 
does the rest. So it's very maintenance free. And our idea, our idea is over two or three years to uh, get a national sponsor to provide uh, kits that we'll send by courier to schools with an instruction manual on our website and a video instruction manual. And the idea is that we hope that if we have a thousand schools, that each one of them will plant 100 linear feet of beans and grow between 1,300 and 1,400 pounds. And then we will create, uh, I guess, a, a national uh, Google uh, food bank map. So they'll know where their local food banks are. Each one will be coded into our database. So we would potentially have a thousand schools uh, weighing in and contributing to local food banks based on this one extremely kind idea that's simple to execute.